hello welcome back again today we are going to discuss how to score 80 plus marks in UGC net first paper what strategies and smart ways we have to use you might have thought about topics in the second paper which is your area in the bachelor's and masters but what about first paper therefore if you don't prepare well for the first paper separately it is going to be difficult for you to crack the exam Today we are going to discuss the different strategies to get 80 plus marks. There will be 50 objective questions. Before it was 60 questions and you asked to answer any 50 questions out of that. But now it is only 50 questions and there is no choice given. 100 marks, 2 marks per correct answer, no negative marks so you should attempt all the questions given that is the best strategy don't leave any questions without answering it one hour duration the questions are very simple but given the time limit it is very difficult to solve everything so you have to practice it very well most of us might be able to answer these questions correctly if you are given enough amount of time but it's not the case you have to practice a lot. So I have referred the previous year question papers and I have gone through it very rigorously. Ultimately I have found 7 different areas and the average number of questions coming in each area. If you focus accordingly and follow my tips and tricks to solve these questions, you may easily score 80 plus marks in UGC first paper. Actually, I wanted to say 90 marks, but it may seem to be exaggerated, so I don't want to go that way. The first area is teaching aptitude. I am going to make a separate video for all these different areas. From this area, around 5 questions are coming in every time. Sometimes it goes beyond that. For solving the questions related to teaching aptitude, we have to use elimination method and simple common sense that's it in this type of questions all the options might be looking correct but one might be more correct we have to select that in some cases all the answers all the options might be looking very similar and this type of questions are repeating throughout the period so you should refer the previous year question papers so you will get what UGC is suggesting as the answer for this question so it will be very easy for you to get five answers correctly in this topic the second area is research aptitude again around five questions are coming from this area the major topic in this area is different steps of research different types of sampling different ways of giving reference and different types of research itself if you go through these different topics it will be very easy for you to answer these questions and the third area is reading comprehension for this topic there is no need of to study anything mainly scientific story type passages are coming in this area but there are some tricks to solve these questions very quickly Otherwise, you will take lot of time to read and again read. So it will take lot of time. But if you use some simple techniques like we have to focus the sentence coming after the structural word and this type of tricks and tips are there. If you focus on that, it will be very easy and you can answer it quickly. The fourth area is logical reasoning. More than five questions are coming from this area. This is a type of questions like there will be two premises and four different conclusion might be given which conclusion is coming from these two premises. So there are some theory to answer this question. If you know that very well then it will be very easy for you. Otherwise you will be sitting thinking and thinking without getting the correct answer. The fifth area is the data interpretation around five questions are coming from this area each time if you have a little bit idea about the percentage and its different variants it is going to be very easy and scoring topic for you 
we are going to discuss this in detail in separate video so far we have discussed about 25 questions now the sixth topic is that general reasoning it includes family relationship for example what is the relationship between a and b and coding the words there will be two words given we have to find the relationship between the word accordingly we have to find a fourth word for the third word given then it includes time and distance age what is the present age ratios questions related to directions one man went to south for 10 meters then turn left then turn right then what is the distance from starting point to end point then the questions related to average number systems it is basically related to decimal binary and hexadecimal numbers number series we have to find the next number in a series of numbers and questions related to alphabet and ordering there will be given different statements regarding the order so we have to find the correct order and some questions regarding the the classification so around 15 questions are coming from this general reasoning this is a kind of practical questions if you do practice very well it then it is going to be very easy for you otherwise it will take lot of time for each topic in this area we are going to make a separate video so you should watch it later and the last 10 marks includes information technology environment higher education communication this is a kind of general knowledge type questions even if you read lot you may not be answer it accordingly but still for example in environment the questions are generally coming related to pollutions and natural hazards so if you have a little bit idea about the latest natural hazard happened in india it will give you around five answers at least correct from the 10 questions so if you go through the tips and tricks which i am going to discuss in later videos you can easily answer 40 questions it means that you can get 80 marks for sure then out of this 10 at least you will get five questions correctly so it will add up to 10 marks again and the total marks will be around 90 marks if you do well if you practice well according to my tips and tricks which i am going to discuss follow the tips so watch the videos and do practice you will get it